Hey guys, my name is Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so today I wanted to do something a little bit different and I meant to look up clever things to call this video, but I didn't. So we're just gonna call it, um, we're gonna call it, we are gonna call this series Coffee Chats because <laughs> I, I don't know what else to call it. I know that's not super original actually it's not original at all but you know what that's what I'm gonna call it we're gonna call it coffee chats episode one <laughs> okay guys so welcome back to coffee chat episode one so I decided I wanted to do this coffee chat series because I feel like everyone loves coffee and if you don't you can drink tea and everyone likes discussions so today I wanted to talk about hot yoga and I don't know what to talk about next coffee chat episode, so leave those suggestions down below what you want to hear me talk about. And I got my coffee right here in this cute little mug that I got at Hobby Lobby that says coffee and mascara. So let's get into the video. Hot yoga. <laughs> Basically, yoga and hot yoga are pretty different. Now I don't know much about hot yoga, so if I'm wrong about something, please feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but I'm just going to kind of make this a really quick video about what I know about it and what things I feel are value, are, are good to talk about. <laughs> so, first I want to talk about the differences between yoga and hot yoga. When I first started doing hot yoga, I didn't know that it was different than yoga. I thought they were the same. And that's because hot yoga and yoga, they just sound like they're the same thing. I thought the only difference was that you were in a hot room. So hot yoga is basically where you go into a room heated over 100 degrees, the place I go has it heated over 105 degrees and you basically just do yoga in a hot room and you end up sweating and getting all the toxins out and just like, I don't know guys, how to explain how sweaty you are. It looks like you just got out of a pool when you get out of hot yoga, it's disgusting. And regular yoga is where you're just doing stretches or strength or there's different yoga poses for digestion and for your stomach and for your stress levels, tons of different stuff, but hot yoga is basically just... It's usually one float, it's the same flow each time. Uh, you usually do a few breathing exercises. It's more of like a full body, not really strength, but more of like a stretching flexibility workout. One of the reasons why I thought they were gonna be the same thing is because I knew that there was gonna be the same poses, which I was actually wrong about. So in hot yoga, they may have the same name as the regular yoga poses, but they are not the same pose. So for example, tree pose is completely different in hot yoga than it is in regular yoga, which when they first said to do tree pose, I was like, oh, I got this in the bag, I can do that. No, it's completely different. Not to mention you're so sweaty that you're having a really, really hard time grabbing onto your body because the sweat is like dripping. I'm sorry guys about the lighting coming in from over here. I really wanted to have my windows open, but that created like a really weird glare and I do apologize for that. Anyways, <laughs> so another pose that is different is eagle pose. So in regular yoga, eagle pose is completely different than hot yoga eagle pose. And I'm not sure if you have to modify them for hot yoga for a reason or not. All I know is that they're different. There's poses that I do in hot yoga that I've never even heard of to do in regular yoga. Now the benefits of hot yoga, the benefits of hot yoga are kind of to get your blood moving more, to kind of clear out all the stale and old like breaths inside of your lungs, to increase your lung capacity, to increase your flexibility, to increase the way that you think about life and the way that you feel after hot yoga. The next day, it, you just you just feel so like so amazing, so like cleansed. You, you feel less stress. Um, now, I'm not gonna go into the benefits of yoga because this video is about hot yoga, not yoga. So those are the benefits of hot yoga. Just a few benefits. There's a lot more. But if you've never tried it before, I highly recommend it. Um, if you need suggestions of places to go in North Carolina, comment down below, and I will give you some suggestions something in hot yoga that I messed up last time or the first time I went was if you're gonna do hot yoga make sure that you don't eat anything three hours before especially if it's your first time and if you do have to eat something just eat a small piece of fruit or like a bag of nuts or something like that do not eat a full meal before I went to hot yoga I ate half of a pizza that was a mistake big mistake 
Also, if you're gonna go to hot yoga, make sure that you hydrate a few days in advance up to the day because it does take your body a little bit of time to be hydrated and you need to make sure that you're hydrating it all throughout that week before you go because you're gonna lose all of that hydration during it. Like, when I say that you're dripping sweat, I literally mean you're gonna, your knees are gonna sweat. Every part of you is gonna sweat. It's gonna be disgusting. <laughs> also, the things that you need for hot yoga, the things that you should bring are a mat, a like a mat cover towel so you can actually just use a beach towel um i did end up going on to amazon and ordering a towel which i will put a picture of right here and i also ordered one like a little sweat towel to go with it um you definitely want to bring your water and then other than that you don't need anything you don't need any yoga blocks you don't need like the the yoga like stretching rope thing um, you don't need shoes. I usually just wear flip-flops and then I take them off and put them in the cubby before I go in. Uh, don't bring your phone in because the heat in the room can mess with your phone. And yeah, so hot yoga is really, really, it, it's an easy concept, not so easy done, but definitely, definitely worth it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Coffee Talks. If you guys have any questions about hot yoga, please put them down below. I would love to answer your questions. And what should I talk about next coffee chat? Next coffee chat. Let me know because I need more ideas and right now all my ideas are like, I don't know, they're just not good. So let me know what you guys want me to talk about in the next episode of Coffee Chats and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and here is my Instagram and my Twitter. Go ahead and follow me on those and have a great day guys. Cheers.